Dear Gift, Some days I wake up and think I'm happy, you're here. You breathe in the air without feeling like you're begging for it. The wind dances in your hair as the song plays on your car radio. The kitchen smells like freshly baked cinnamon rolls and sounds like someone laughing with whipped cream on their nose. We finally have a home that makes feel like home. The day begins with the hum of the coffee maker and the night ends with oversized pajamas snuggled up in the king-size bed, which feels cramped. If it's raining and I can't see through my glasses, I don't care because I'm dancing to my favorite 90s Bollywood song. Even though Mercury is retrograde, there are people who give you a bath after a long day or give you a spoonful of cereal and milk when it's late. The lights are on, but you don't have to stand naked in front of the mirror and criticize yourself about the curve of your hips or the width of her smile. All worries about the future disappear before you can fully grasp it. There's an I love you for every hello and goodbye, almost like a broken record, but it's so new to you that it never gets old. After letting go of people, places, and things that have no meaning to you, you will find peace. There is a joy that is contagious and spreads around you like a pandemic. There is a lot of love that looks like hope. I can't wait for everyone to see it, s love, s future self. I'm sorry for the privilege that slips through my sleeve, but I'm homesick for the life I haven't yet lived. I live in her one-bedroom apartment in Irvine, York's new bestseller. Two cats writing and deleting in creative agony under my desk. I hope you will accompany me. Inside every cup that saves me from eight hours of sleep is a little bit of coffee untouched, and a plant that hasn't seen a single ray of sunlight for the past eleven days. But I also want to take a break from the ambition that runs through my veins by turning 20 and working as a barista at a cafe for a year, so in exchange for $14 an hour, you can watch the clock spin and observe people's facial features and coffee orders. The intern who drinks coffee every day to impress his seniors at or the older gentleman who visits every other Saturday when he's in town to see his daughter, but I say he goes to work from nine o'clock until he five o'clock, puts on loafers, in the morning he turns on CNN, and starts at the end of the day, at the end he reads the notes of, I also want to become a taxpayer like that. Presentations take time. A good weekend means no unanswered emails left at the end of his on Friday night. But I also want to be a stay-at-home mom to my two children. My boyfriend, husband gave me a foot massage on the edge of the bathtub and told me about his co-worker who won't stop microwaving fish in the office. We drink wine and laugh quietly because we're afraid we'll wake the kids and pass out on the couch watching their favorite comedy. <laughs>